Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to EOSN for our final divisional matchup to find out who will be hosting the Oakland Raiders in the AFC Championship Sunday night. We will be having the number two Seattle Seahawks hosting the number four Houston Texans. All right. So, what a exciting playoffs we have seen thus far. It all started... Well, really, the most exciting game that we have seen was that Minnesota-Carolina game where Car Minnesota topped Carolina by one point. For more on that, go check out that video. Well, I already spoiled the one ending for you, but go check it out anyways. All right, here we go. Houston taking on Seattle. Seattle has been on quite the roll lately. Seem they are one of two teams to beat the AFC number one seed, Pittsburgh Steelers, who were beat by Oakland in an exciting game. And they are also had beat the Patriots. They went to overtime with the Cardinals. They they had to have some losses on their resume. However, they were all very, very hard fought games, and that's why they are here. Brian Hoyer versus Russell Wilson will be the quarterback matchup. Loading settings. And here we go. Coin flip. Seattle's won the toss and will receive the kickoff. Okay. Here comes Nick Novak to get us started on our final divisional round game here for the 2016 NFL play along season. All right. Here's the situation. Seattle wins. They will be hosting the AFC Championship against the Oakland Raiders. If Houston wins, they will be hosting not only the AFC Championship, but the next game of automatically will be in Houston, and that is, of course, Super Bowl 51. All right, Nick Novak kicks this one in the air. One yard deep in the end zone, Tyler Lockett. He's going to bust loose and get a return all the way to the 22 and is stopped. And here we go. Russell Wilson and company will take over from the 22. First play, handoff to Kristen Michael. Michael going to go around the go right through the center for a gain of four. Second and six. Okay. Hand off to Thomas Rawls. Goes around the outside. Bust one loose and he finds the sideline all the way to the 31 of Houston. And that is a 43-yard run for Thomas Rawls. Every game that we have seen, the Seahawks are able to get Rawls to the outside and he just busts for big game after big game. So... That was one of the game plans from Seattle. Hand off to Marshawn Lynch. He has announced this will be his final season, and he gains three on the play. Second and seven from the 28, already in field goal range. Here comes the first pass by Russell Wilson. Medium pass, fires. This one will be caught by Doug Baldwin for a gain of 14. First and 10 from the 14. Already in the red zone. 12-10 left to go. Hand off to Kristen Michael. Michael goes around the outside, finds three yards. And is brought down at the 11. All right. Hand off to Michael again. Goes around the outside. He's going to get five yards on the play. And finally brought down at the six. Third and two. Hand off to Lynch. Lynch going to go around the outside. And he's got the first down. All the finally brought down at the third. At the three-yard line. First and goal from the three. Wilson. He's going to keep it. Go right through the inside. He's in the end zone. No, he's not. He gets brought down at the one. And that'll make it second and goal. Handoff. Fred Jackson. Jackson goes right through the center. He's in the end zone. Touchdown. And the Seattle Seahawks strike first, and they strike fast against this Houston Texans defense. Steven Hauschka kick is up, and it is good. 7-0 Seattle, and Houston needs to respond. They need to respond fast. Much easier said than done against the Legion of Boom. All right. Hauschka kicks this one. One yard deep in the end zone. And they're going to take the touchback. He needs it. Okay. No time off the clock. Hoyer, first pass. Fires this one. It's going to be caught by, by DeAndre Hopkins. Gain of four on the play. Hoyer. Back to pass, throws. This one will be caught by Hopkins again for a gain of 14 on the play. First down, Houston. 
All right. Hoyer. Here comes the pass rush. He eludes it. Fires incomplete. Pass rush launched by Bobby Wagner. Second and 10 from their own 43. Hand off to Hunt. Akeem Hunt goes around the outside. Gets drilled by K.J. Wright for a loss of one yard. Third and 11 coming up. Okay, Hoyer, short pass, fires. This one will be caught by Nate Washington. He gets rid of one tap, gets rid of Chancellor, and he's still going all the way down to the 26-yard line. A 32-yard run by Nate Washington. Huge play for the Houston Texans. They're in field goal range. Here comes the pass rush. He eludes it, fires, has... Hopkins in the end zone, touchdown, and we are going to be tied, it looks like. And just like that, Houston comes right back, kick is up, and we are tied. What a game. 26-yard touchdown pass. That is going to take 20 seconds off the clock because it's under 30 yards. And here comes Novak, kicks this one to the three-yard line. The return is going to be 10 yards by Tyler Lockett, so they will take over at the 13. 5.30 left in the first quarter. Lynch gets the ball, goes around the outside. Gain of four yards on the play. No one even trying to stop him. Here we go. Wilson going long, fires, finds Luke Wilson for a gain of 23 yards. Flag on the play. And it was, he had a free play and he knew it. Encroachment on the defense. Penalty be decline. First down, Seattle. So um, I, if you've watched some of my videos, you might have noticed I'd done uh, 10 seconds even if the penalty is accepted or declined. Um, I read that it's only 10 seconds if the penalty is accepted. So if it's declined, it's like it never happened. So, of course, we're just going to take 40 seconds off the clock. All right. Medium pass by Wilson. Throws. Knocked down by Quentin Demps. Second and 10 coming up. Here comes the pass rush. Dialed up by the... By the Texans. And he is drilled. Whitney Merciless... Starts the pass rush, and Jared Crick drills Russell Wilson for the sack. And 40 seconds come off, even though it said out of bounds, but it was a sack. So I doubt they'd throw him out of bounds to stop the clock. Wilson, short pass, fires. This one will be caught by Doug Baldwin. Gain of one on the play, and it will be fourth and 17 from their own 33. They will have to punt it. Here comes John Ryan with 240 left in the first quarter. Ryan punts this one all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Ten seconds off the clock. 2.30 left in the first quarter. Hoyer back to pass. Throws. This one will be cut by Jalen Strong for a gain of 10 yards, and there's a flag on the play. Offsides on the offense. That penalty will be accepted. Lost five yards. Replay first down. All right, back to pass goes Hoyer. Fires. It will be knocked down by Earl Thomas. Yeah, offsides, okay. 10 seconds off the clock. Second and 15. Medium pass again. Hoyer back to pass. Throws. Finds a wide open DeAndre Hopkins, but they stop him just shy of the first down. 31 coming up. Gain of 14 on the play. Here we go. Pass rush. Eludes it. Fires incomplete. And that'll make it fourth and one from their own 29. And here comes Shane Leckler. This one in the air to the 19-yard line is going to be returned seven yards by Tyler Lockett. So they'll take over on their own 26. Good return by Lockett. Hand off to Lynch. Goes right through the center. Gain of six on the play, and there's a flag. Let's see what it is. Personal foul on the offense. Loss of 15 yards. Repeat. Loss of 15 yards, second down. So it is second and seventeen instead of first and ten first and or second and two. All right. Wilson, short pass, fires. This one will be caught by Fred Jackson. Jackson, he's got room to run. He's gonna get the first down. Finally brought down at the 38. Huge run for Seattle. Or huge play by Seattle. Russell Wilson makes a great pass. Here comes the pass rush. And he's going to scramble, doing what he does best. Gain of six on the play. Fumble! But it is recovered. Oh, wait. And this is this hasn't happened in a while. Sometimes the game kind of... Um, 
you have to restart it because it um, crashes sometimes. But this uh, has not does not happen often. So definitely do not um, let that stop you from checking this game out. It might be just my system. It very well could be. Um, okay. Side blitz. All right. So you get to see, hear the introduction music and see the intro and stuff like that inside Game Sports. Awesome, awesome company. Could not be more happy to play their games. Um, we can load the game. It goes to automatic load, autosave, and it will join the game we were in. Okay, so we're still in the first quarter. So it's the exact play that it crashed on us on. All right. Here we go. Wilson, back to pass. Throws. Incomplete. Almost was intercepted, bringing up second and ten. Here we go, Wilson. Here comes the pass rush. He's going to scramble for six, and he's going to bust one loose for a gain of seven. And that will make it third and three. And the end of the first quarter, it is tied at seven. Winner hosts Oakland in the AFC Championship. Seattle, the favorites to do that. But wouldn't it be something if Houston make, wins this game and is able to base, basically would guarantee them the last two games of the season would be home games. If Houston were to win this, then the AFC Championship and the Super Bowl is in Houston. If Houston wins this week and next week, they will be the first team ever to qualify for their own Super Bowl. Hand off to Thomas Rawls. Rawls goes around the outside, and he does it again. Breaks away all the way down to the 24 for a gain of 31. Thomas Rawls, absolutely incredible on the breakaway. Here we go. Russell Wilson back to pass. Looking, looking, can't find anyone, so he has to throw it away. Pass is incomplete. Um, uh, if you guys want to know how this game works, you can either A, check out one of my earlier videos where I kind of go through how it works. Um, what I've decided for my quote-unquote Pro Bowl, I'm going to um, play a game with the demo teams. So what happens is when you order this game, it's $30. You get the game and you get two teams to kind of demo it. Uh, also comes with a free five-day demo. So you can try it out for free. Uh, decide if you want it, want to, if you like it or not. Um, but what I'll do is I'll play with the teams that come with it, and it'll be our Pro Bowl, and I'll slow it down a lot and really explain how the game works. And that's going to be sometime next week after we've decided who's playing in the Super Bowl. Um, I'm also going to be doing the same thing, a uh, how-to with their game inside the paint basketball um, uh, for their All-Star game. I'm going to be also doing it with um, Inside the Crease Hockey, and I will be doing it before the season even starts with Inside Pitch Baseball. Um, so, yeah, I figured that way if you guys um, are, if anyone's watching one of the videos where it is me just kind of running through a game and they want to know how it works, I have a video be like, I have a how-to video for each game. All right, so back to the game. I just noticed a stat here. Look at the rushing yards. Seattle, 112, negative one for Houston. That could be the difference. We'll find out. Russell Wilson back to pass. Throws, has a man open, caught by Jermaine Kirsch for a gain of nine. Runs out of bounds at the 15, third and one coming up. Hand off to Rawls. Rawls goes right through the center, and he's in the end zone. Touchdown. A 15-yard run by Thomas Rawls. Kick is up, and it is good. And the Seattle Seahawks take the lead. 40 seconds off the clock, 13-20 left to go. Hauschka boots this one four yards deep into the end zone. And it's going to be returned by Houston. And it looks like there is a fumble. We're going to have to read the thing. Here goes. Four yards deep in the end zone. Kickoff is returned. 39 yards by Keith Mumphrey. So no fumble. Great return by Mumphrey. They'll take over on their own 35. Good decision. All right. Hoyer back to pass. Throws. This one will be caught by Mumphrey. Who else? And Mumphrey's going to go for 24 yards all the way down to the Seattle 41. Hand off to Chris Polk. Goes around the outside. And he busts loose 
finds the sideline. Not going to get brought down until the 21. He doesn't even get brought down. He has to get – he runs out of bounds. All right. Pitch to Alfred Brulu. We haven't called his name all night. Goes around the outside. Gain of one on the play. Third and nine coming up. All right. Hoyer back to pass. Throws. This one will be caught by DeAndre Hopkins. Gain of one on the play. Third and eight coming up. Here we go. Long pass. Nope. Here comes the pass rush. He'll lose it. Fires. Finds Arian Foster for seven yards, bringing up fourth and one. And they will bring on the field goal team. A 29-yard attempt by Nick Novak. Kick is up, and it is good. Drilled that one. And it is a four-point game. All right. Novak puts this one into the end zone for the touchback, and Seattle will take over from the at their own 25 with 10.40 left in the half. Seattle got the first half kickoff, so Houston will be getting the second half kickoff. Lynch gets the ball, goes around the outside. Gain of three, no one there to stop him. All right, Kristen Michael, he gets the ball, goes around the outside, and he's going to get knocked down. Both Kareem Jackson and Quentin Dempse in on the play to knock him out of bounds. Rawls, he gets the ball, goes around the outside. Gain of four on the play, fourth and three coming up. But they will need to punt it. They're on their own 32. Ryan puts this one to the 10-yard line. That one will be returned all the way up to the 24. Great return by Keith Mumphrey. All right, Hoyer can make this a very interesting game right here. Hoyer back to pass. Looking, can't find anyone. Quick pass, throws it away. And that play kind of collapsed on him. We'll see what they do here. Hoyer back to pass, throws wide open to DeAndre Hopkins for a gain of 20 yards. First and 10 from their own 44. Chris Polk gets the ball, goes around the outside. Gain of one, Derek Newton couldn't give him the, the block he needed to bust loose. Second and nine, here comes the pass rush. And he's sacked. Chris, or Cliff Averill launches the rush. Kerry Williams gets the sack. Loss of seven yards on the play. 6.50 left in the second quarter. All right. Back to pass goes Hoyer. Fires. Knocked down by Kerry Williams. And there's a flag on the play. Let's see what the call is. Holding on the offense. 10 yards from the line of scrimmage. Repeat third down. So third and 26 from their own 28. Here we go. Medium pass. Throws. This one will be caught by DeAndre Hopkins for a gain of 13. And another flag on the play. Holding on the offense. Loss of 10 yards. Repeat third down. So that is now third and 36. Wow. All right. Hoyer, medium pass. Throws. This one will be cut by Nate Washington for a gain of 16 yards, making it fourth and 20. So very obvious what they're going to do here. they got to punt it away. Leckler puts this one in the air, and it rolls out of bounds at the 34. Not the best punt but decent field position for Russell Wilson and company. Wilson, first play, back to pass. Here comes the pass rush. Steps aside, eludes it, fires, incomplete. He overthrew Tyler Lockett just barely. All right. Wilson, short pass, fires. This one will be caught by Lock Ricardo Lockett for a gain of three yards. Third and seven. Here we go. Wilson back to pass, throws. This one will be caught by Tyler Lockett for a gain of nine yards. First down, Seattle, and they're looking good. All right. Hand off to Lynch. Lynch goes, around the, goes right through the center. Gain of four, Vince Wilfork in on the stop. Lynch gets the ball again, goes right through the center. Gain of one, Wilfork again. Wilfork again. Medium pass by Wilson. Fires. This one will be caught by Lock Ricardo Lockett for a gain of 13, but there is a flag on the play. Holding on the offense. That takes away the first down and makes it third and 17 from their own 39. 240 left on in the half. Russell Wilson back to pass. Throws. This one will be caught by Jimmy Graham for a gain of four, making it fourth and 13, and they will... With two minutes left, and they will have to punt. Two-minute warning for the first half. That means that it will be a untimed play, and it's going to be a punt. 
Good clock management there by the Seattle Seahawks. John Ryan puts this one to the 11, and it's going to be returned an additional 20 by Keith Mumphrey, who has been great today. They'll start from their own 31, no time off the clock. All right, quick pass by Hoyer. Fires, this one will be caught by Arian Foster for a loss of a yard. Needed to move a little bit quicker. Short pass by Hoyer. Fires, this one will be caught by Alfred Blue, Alfred Blue for a gain of six. 40 seconds left on the clock. Back to pass, throws. Here comes the pass rush, and he's sacked, recovered by Houston. Picked, picked back up by Ben Jones, and he gets the first down, and Houston will have to call a timeout. Their goal is to get into field goal range. Here we go, back to pass. Here comes the pass rush again. Fires, incomplete. And 20 seconds left on the clock. Back to pass. Fires, another incomplete pass, making it third and 10 with 10 seconds to go. So that brings us to clutch rules, and we will talk about clutch rules. So what happens is there are 10 seconds on the clock. Uh, they have three plays to get into field goal range or out of bounds. Um, if they get out of bounds, then that will award them an additional two plays. If they get out of bounds again, we award them an additional one play. Um, if there is a tackle for a loss of yards and they have no timeouts, they're automatically done. If there is three incomplete passes, then um, then the time runs out. So we'll just kind of go through that as we keep going. Okay, so they need to go for the sidelines. Back to pass goes Hoyer, medium pass throws. This one will be caught by C.J. Fedoritz. Fedoritz is going to gain 12 on the play, and he got out of bounds. Huge play there, so the clock stops. Okay, so that's play number one. Oh, well, one got out of bounds, so they have three plays left. Okay. Back to pass goes Hoyer. Can't find anyone. Has to throw it away and complete pass. So that's strike one. All right. Second and ten coming up. Quick pass. Fires. This one will be caught by Jonathan Grimes. Does he get out of bounds? Yes, he does. So they have they lost a play. So but they get one back, and now they have three plays, and that is it. Okay. All right, deep pass by Hoyer, going for it all here. Incomplete, and that's inter and that's incomplete. Oh, it's not going to count towards their incomplete pass because there's a penalty on the defense. Let's see what the flag is. Defensive pass interference, and that looks like it's going to be on Cam Chancellor. And the ball will be placed at the one-yard line. First and goal with three plays left under clutch rules. Here we go. Hand off to Blue. Blue. Goes right into the end zone. Touchdown! And the C and the Houston Texans have taken the lead. Kick is up and it is good. 17 to 14. And Seattle will only have two plays to get it done. So um, one thing about clutch rules is whatever amount of plays is left, that carries over to the next possession. So Seattle only has two plays to get this done. So they've got to they got to do something good right here. All right, this one to the 2-yard line is going to be returned. 20 yards fumbled by Lockett, picked up by Chase Kaufman, returns it another 5 yards. So out to the 27. So that's play number 1. They got to go for it all here. All right, back to pass. Throws here. Oh, here comes the pass rush, and he's sacked, and that'll do it. The half is over. And after two quarters, score is 17 to 14, Houston. Wow. And Houston will get the ball back at the half. Let's look at some stats here. Uh, team stat comparison. Okay. First downs, Houston is winning that one just barely. Third down conversions, Seattle is definitely winning that one. Fourth down conversions, none of them tried it on fourth down. Offensive yards, again, Seattle but only by about, looks like 21 yards. Average, however, is only by 
two tenths of a yard, Houston. But the rushing right here, 137 to 22. They're winning that average. But the passing for Houston is 168 to, to 162 to 68. Each of them have two sacks. One has one field goal. Each of them have two touchdowns. And both of the touchdowns for Seattle are rushing. One of each, a rush and a pass for Houston. Time of possession, though, definitely in Seattle's hands. Okay, so we'll exit that. We'll go to the box score to kind of get an idea of what's going on. Hoyer having a great game. Go figure. 14 to tw 14 of 21 for 179 yards and a touchdown. Wilson, 8 for 12 for 82 yards. They just aren't using his arm much because they really don't need to because of Marshawn Lynch, 7 for 22. Kristen Michael, 4 for 12. This one's the impressive one. Thomas Rawls, 4 for 93. He could get to 200 yards by the end of this one. Doug Baldwin, 2 for 15. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins, 6 for 79. So those are your kind of stars of this game right now. So we'll go ahead and take you back to the field at, at CenturyLink to kick off the second half of this, our final divisional round playoff game here in the AFC. Winner will host Oakland in the AFC Championship Sunday night. All right, this one sails into the end zone for a touchback. No time comes off the clock. Okay. Hoyer, medium pass. Here comes the pass rush. Eludes. Fumble recovered by Houston, and it's picked up. Dwayne Bowe picks it up and takes it another yard. But Hoyer is hit by Athba Rubin for a loss of seven, and Brown gets one of them back. Huge play there by the Seattle Seahawks defense. Here we go. Long pass by Hoyer. Knocked down by Deshaun Shedd. All over that one. Third and 16 coming up. Short pass. Fires. This one will be caught by C.J. Fedorwicz. And that's going to make it fourth and 13 from their own 22. So they will have to punt. So they won't go two for one. And now Seattle will have an immediate chance to respond. Leckler puts this one to the 14-yard line. Out of bounds. So great punt by Leckler. Puts Seattle inside their own 15 to start their first drive of the second half. Hand off to Jackson. Jackson gets it outside. Gain of three on the play. J.J. Watt and Whitney Merciless on, in, on the stop. Wilson back to pass. Throws. This one will be caught by Jimmy Graham for a gain of one. Third and six coming up. They need to convert this right here. Wilson back to pass. Th fires a strike to Fred Jackson. But Jackson is shoved out of bounds. One yard shy of the first down. And here comes John Ryan. This one to the 42, no fair catch, and it's going to be returned an additional six yards, so they will take over from their own 48. 11.40 left in the third quarter. Grimes gets the ball, gets to the outside, and he's drilled by Bobby Wagner for a loss of one yard. Huge play there. Blue gets to the outside. Cliff Averill this time comes up with the stop for a loss of one, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Personal foul, live play, 15-yard penalty, first down, Houston. 10.50 left to go. Hand off to Akeem Hunt. Goes around the outside, busts one loose, finds the sideline for a gain of 12, and there's another flag on the play. Let's see what it is this time. Holding on the defense, five yards from the line, five-yard gain from the line of scrimmage, automatic first down, so... It'll be first and 10 from the 27, so 10 seconds off the clock. Here we go. Hoyer back to pass. Throws. This one will be caught by Alfred Blue for a gain of six yards. Second and four from the 21. They lead the game by three. They could go up by 10 if they get a touchdown here. Hoyer, medium pass, going for it here. Caught by DeAndre Hopkins for a gain of 18. First and goal from the three. All right, handoff. Blue goes around the outside, finds the end zone, touchdown! And the Houston Texans pulling off the upset so far. Kick is up and it is good. And they go up 24 to 14. 9.20 left in the third quarter. Sorry, 
nine eight forty left in the third quarter. Novak kicks this one three yards deep in the end zone. And it's going to be returned by Tyler Lockett all the way down to the 40, to the 39. A 42-yard return by Tyler Lockett was exactly what the Seahawks needed. All right, here we go. Brown gets the ball, gets to the outside. Only gets a gain of one Whitney Merciless, or Merciless, sorry, in on the stop. Handoff. Nope, Russell Wilson going to keep it himself. Goes around the outside. Gain of three on the play. Third and 16. Wilson, he's going to keep it himself. Goes right through the center. Drilled by Jadavion Clowney for no gain. Fourth and six coming up. And they will punt it. This one, great punt by Ryan. Going to land at the five. And fumble recovered by Houston. He returned at 17 yards and the fumbles recovered by Houston. So, Seattle is getting opportunities, but they're not able to take full advantage of it, and that's got to kill them right now. Hoyer, pass rush. He eludes it, fires just off the hands of Ryan Griffin. Second and 10 coming up from their own 22. Hoyer back to pass again, throws. Deshaun Shedd once again all over that one, and now it'll be third and 10. Long pass by Hoyer. Here comes the pass rush. He eludes it, fires, overthrows Hopkins, and Seattle will be getting the ball back. They need it down by 10. They need to do something on this drive, or this could get out of hand fast. 5.50 left in the third quarter. This one, 40-yard punch to the 38-yard line. Lockett waves for a fair catch, so... They need to at least get a field goal. Make this a one-score game. 5.40 left to go. Here comes a short pass by Wilson. Incomplete. Benedrick McKinney on the defense. Here we go. Wilson. Here comes the pass rush, and he's sacked. Jared Crick launches the pass rush, and J.J. Watt gets Wilson for a loss of eight yards. Third and 18 coming up. Here we go. Wilson back to pass. Throws, and he overthrows Fred Jackson big time. And that'll bring up fourth and 18. They got to give it right back after a three and out. This one to the 14-yard line. It's going to be a gain of nine on the play. So they will get it from their own 23-yard line. But there is a flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Personal foul on the return team. They'll lose 15 yards, so they'll start on their own 11. Can Seattle take advantage of this poor field position? They launch a pass rush. Hoyer eludes it, fires, finds Cecil Short. Short is still going all the way to the 41. Cecil Short, first time we've called his name tonight, and he makes a huge impact. 3.50 left in the third quarter. Hoyer back to pass, throws, Bruce Irvin knocks it down. Second and 10 coming up. Hoyer back to pass, quick pass, throws. This one will be caught by Jonathan Grimes, but he's drilled by Frank Clark for a loss of four. He's actually shoved out of bounds for a loss of four, making it third and 14. Short pass by Hoyer, fires. This one will be caught by DeAndre Hopkins, but he only gets nine on the play, and he's pushed out of bounds by Michael Bennett, bringing up fourth and five from their own 46, and they will punt it. Leckler into the end zone for a touchback, and we have a penalty. Let's see what it is. Running into the kicker on the return team. Oh, five yards from the line of scrimmage. First down, Houston. Oh, my goodness. And that kills all the defensive momentum that Seattle was building up. Wow. Third and 10. Hoyer, short pass, can't find anyone. He's got to throw it away. Canceler shut down the receiver. All right, Hoyer again. Throws, and it is picked off. Marcus Burley gets the interception, and he returns it seven yards. And Seattle has life in them yet. 
All right, here we go. Wilson, he gets to the outside. Busts one, finds the sideline. Busts one loose for a gain of 17. First down for Seattle from the Houston 42. And this could be huge right here. 210 left in the quarter. Handoff to Lynch goes right through the center. Loss of two on the play. Jadavion Clowney and Justin Crick in on the stop. Here we go. Pass rush to Wilson. He's hit. Fumble recovered by Houston. Picked up by Will Fork. And he returns the ball four yards. Wow. And just like that, Seattle loses the ball. And Houston is looking very, very good right now. Quick pass by Brian Hoyer. This one will be caught by Jonathan Grimes, but he's drilled for a loss of two on their on the Seattle 48. Second and 12. Back to pass. Throws. This one will be knocked down by Earl Thomas. And it's third and 12 coming up. Hand off to Grimes. Grimes is going to get a gain of five, making it fourth and seven. And they run out the third quarter. After three, it is 24-14. Houston, 15 minutes away from, advance, from hosting both the Super Bowl and the AFC Championship game. And they will punt it back. This one all the way down to the three-yard line, and it rolls out of bounds. Or no, it was recovered at the three-yard line by Houston. Great punt by Leckler and great coverage by the Houston Texans. First and 10 from their own three. 14.50 left to go. Lynch gets the ball, goes right through the center. Gain of five on the play, and that's huge. All right, and that gives Wilson some room to pass. Wilson, short pass, fires. This one will be caught by Fred Jackson. Fumble, but it is recovered by Seattle. Fred Jackson recovers his own fumble, picks it up, and runs it an additional 17 yards. Huge play by Seattle just when you thought it was about to go downhill again. First and 10 from their own 27. Here comes the pass rush. Rolls out, fires, finds Fred Jackson again for a gain of seven. Th second and three coming up. Hand off to Rawls. Rawls gets to the outside. And he's dropped for a loss of four by Jadavian Clowney. Third and seven coming up. Here comes the handoff to Lynch. Lynch goes right through the inside. Gain of six on the play, bringing up fourth and one on their own 36. And what is Pete Carroll going to do? He's going to punt it. It's not, You're not in four down territory yet, but you got to make a stop. This one to the 22. And it's going to be drilled. Keith Mumphrey drilled all the way back to the 19-yard line. So decent punt by Ryan. Great coverage by the Seattle Seahawks coverage team. 11-20 left to go. Medium pass by Hoyer. Back to pass. Throws. Caught by Jalen Strong for a gain of 11 yards. First down for Houston. Jonathan Grimes gets the ball. Goes right through the center. Gain of three. Bobby Wagner in on the stop. Second and seven coming up. Arian Foster gets the ball, gets to the outside. Dropped by Bruce Irvin for a loss of three yards. Third and ten coming up. Back to pass goes Hoyer. Fires. This one will be cut by DeAndre Hopkins. Gain of four, and he steps out of bounds at the 34, and they will punt it back to Seattle, and now Seattle has to do something. This one to Lockett. Lockett is going to get hit hard. For a loss of four, they'll start at their own 21. Nine minutes left to go. Long pass. Fires. This one will be caught by Doug Baldwin. He bobbled the ball but got it back. Gain of 30 on the play, and they are in Houston territory. Here we go. And there goes Wilson. He's going to scramble. He's going to get five yards on the play. Second and five coming up. Lynch gets to the outside, finds the sideline, busts one loose. He's got the first down, and he's gonna, not going to get brought down for a while. Gain of 13 on the play, but there is a flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Personal foul on the offense, loss of 15 yards. Re Penalty is accepted by Houston. Okay, loss of 15 yards, first down, Seattle. 
So they instead of having it on in around the 35, they'll get it at the 46. 7.30 left to go. Medium pass by Wilson. Fires. Knocked down by Quentin Demps. Second and 10 coming up. Short pass by Wilson. Fires. This one will be caught by Doug Baldwin for a gain of five. Steps out of bounds at the 41. And it's third and five. Here we go. Short pass again. And here comes the pass rush. And he's sacked. Dropped for a loss of 11. And Seattle just can't get it going. And they're going to punt it back. And Seattle, they need a quick stop, and they need something big here. This one to the 9-yard line, return to the 7 more yards, so they'll start at their own 16. Here we go. Hand off to Blue. Blue goes around the outside, gain of 7 on the play. 6, or sorry, 540 left in the game. Hoyer, quick pass, fires. This one will be caught by Chris Polk. First down, Houston. And Seattle needs to get something going here. Blue gets the ball, goes right through the inside, gain of four on the play. 420 left to go in the game. Blue gets the ball, goes around the outside, gain of four on the play again. And it is third and two. All right. Hand off to Arian Foster. Drilled for a loss by Bobby Wagner, but there's a flag on the play. Oh, no. Personal foul on the defense. 15-yard gain. First down. Houston on the Seattle 47. And the Seattle fans are not happy right now. This would be the first playoff game in a long time Seattle has lost in Seattle. Should this hold up? 5-4. Finds Mumphrey for the 20-yard reception, and he steps out of bounds. First and 10 from the 27. Hand off to Blue. Blue goes right through the inside. Gain of two on the play. And it's just not working right now for Seattle. Hand off to Arian Foster. Goes right through the inside. Gain of six on the play. Third and two. Here comes the pass rush. Seattle dialing it up. Drops Brian Hoyer for a loss of 11. Cliff Averill launches the, launches the pass rush. Bruce Irvin drops him for the loss, taking us to the two-minute warning. So that's the untimed play. So, uh, no, they're not going to punt. My bad. I'll undo that because that was dumb. So here comes the field goal team. Kick is up, and it is no good. He missed it. Nick Novak misses a 47-yarder. Oh, my goodness. I did not see that coming. 150 left to go on their own 37. They need a quick touchdown, and they got to get an outside kick back. Here we go. He hits curse, curse. Strips the tackler, and he's still going all the way down to the 35, and they're in field goal range. And there's the first time out from Seattle. Here we go. Wilson back to pass. Throws. This one will be caught by Jimmy Graham for a gain of 13. Does he get out of bounds? Yes, he does. 130 left in the game from, their 20, from the 22. Medium pass by Wilson. Back to pass. Throws. This one will be caught by Doug Baldwin for a gain of 13. And he gets out of bounds at the 9. First and goal from the nine. What are they going to do? Short pass by Wilson. Throws. This one will be caught by Kirsch for a gain of two. Didn't get out of bounds, so Seattle will have to take another timeout. 110 left in the game. Here we go. Wilson going for it all here. Fires. And he has Jimmy Graham in the end zone. Touchdown. And the Seattle Seahawks are down by three, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Holding on the offense, so that will negate the touchdown and make it second and 17. Second and goal from the 17. One minute left. Here we go. Wilson going for it here. Finds a man on the one. Does he get out of bounds? He has to get out of bounds. Doug Baldwin did get out of bounds. 50 seconds left to go. Hand off to Rawls on the one, and he's in touchdown. 
The Seattle Seahawks are down by three. And now what are they going to do? Hauschka puts the extra point up, and it is good. And now they got to get an onside kickback. I have only seen this be successful once. Okay. So, 10 seconds off the clock. Here comes the onside kick. And it's recovered by Houston. That's going to do it. Houston has the ball with 40 seconds left. Seattle has one timeout. A knee down will take 40 seconds. Hoyer has led the Houston Texans to the AFC Championship. The quest to be the first team to, to qualify for the Super Bowl they host is still alive. Hoyer with the knee down. And there's the final timeout from Seattle. And one more knee from Hoyer. And the Houston Texans are going to the AFC Championship. They will host Oakland. What a game here in Seattle. Final score, the Houston Texans 24, Seattle Seahawks 21. Our player of the game, DeAndre Hopkins, nine receptions for 110 yards and a touchdown. Yeah, that's our player of the game right there. However, Brian Hoyer, honorable mention, 25 completions, 40 attempts, 283 yards, but the one interception and four sacks is not great. However, Alfred Blue gets two touchdowns. Just absolutely huge play by the Houston Texans. And that is why they will be going to the AFC Championship. So, guess what? The guaranteed next two games will take place in Houston. They're going to host the AFC Championship for the right to go to the Super Bowl. And Houston's hoping hosting the Super Bowl. What a crazy year it has been for the Houston Texans. If you saw any of my earlier videos, you would hear me talking about them. They got off to a hot start, and they were definitely proving to be one of the elite teams in this league. And for a while, they were the number two seed in the AFC. Well, they're going to be host. They are the highest remaining seed left in the playoffs for the AFC. So our final here from Seattle, the Houston Texans defeat the Seattle Seahawks 24-21. to Our next game we will be bringing you will be posted and play. will be played sa uh, Sunday afternoon, the NFC Championship featuring the Cincinnati Bengals going to the number one ranked Minnesota Vikings. And after that, so that, and that game will be posted right after it is played. After that, on Sunday night, we will be doing the AFC Championship with the number four Houston Texans hosting the number six Oakland Raiders. What a game this was from all of us here at EOSN. Good night, and we will see you on Sunday for Championship Sunday.